Okay, let's look at the question 1. Suppose S is the set of vector 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 4, 6, minus 1, 5, 3. We know that from part A that this set is not a linearly independent set. Therefore, the set S does not form a basis for the three-dimensional space R3. Now, if we reduce the set by consisting of 1, minus 1, 1, and 1, 4, 6, and these two sets span a vector space called V. Now, we want to ask is 10, minus 5, 15 inside V. Now, that means that is it possible to write 10 minus 5, 15 as a combination of 1 minus 1, 1, and 1, 4, 6. That means that we want to find A and B now. If there is a solution for A and B, then we say that 10 minus 5, 15 belong to the span of these two vectors. If there is no solution at all, then the vector 10 minus 5, 15 is not inside the space V, which is the span of these two vectors. So, we start with augmented metric, and starting with a leading one here, first row times 1, add to second row. So this will create a zero in the second Okay, first row times 1, add to second row, you get zero here. 1 times 1 plus 4 is 5. 10 times 1 is 10, plus minus 5 is 5. Then, first row times minus 1, Add to row 3, which I'll create as 0 below leading 1. And minus 1 times 1 plus 6, you get 5. And minus 1 times 10, add to 15, you get 5 again. So I have a leading 1 and below it all 0 now. Next, we're going to create another leading 1 and the second row. The 5 there can be reduced by second row times 1 over 5. 1, 1, 10, 0, 1, 1, 0, 5, 5. The moment we have achieved a leading one, so we want to make sure that everything below leading one and above leading one is 0. So what we can do is second row times minus 5, Add to the third row, the second row unchanged. The third row will become 0 now. 1 times minus 5, add to 5, get 0. Same thing, 1 times minus 5, add to 5, get 0. And then we can take the minus 1 times first, second row, add to row 1. Create a 0 on top there, so we get 1. Minus 1 plus 1 gets 0, minus 1 plus 10, you get 9. And so we have reached the row reduce point because we cannot find any more leading one in the third row. A equal to 9, and B equal to 1. Then minus 5, 15 belong to V, alright, which is the span of the two vector 1 minus 1, 1, 1, 4, 6, and 1, 4, 6. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to go to menu, execute, run, F1 for matrices. Now, matrix A, I want to tell the matrix A I have dimension is 3 row, 3 column, so I press F3. So I press 3 for M and 3 column. Execute. Then I enter the entry for matrix here, 1. Then 1, then 10, then minus 1, then 4. Then minus 5, then 1, then 6, then 15. So after I finish early, I want to do some row operation. Row operation is inside F1 
first under F1, so press F1. Then I decide what operation I can do. So I'm going to take one time first row, add to row two, which is F3 now. So I say one time first row, row one, add to row two. XE execute. So this will give me the first operation. Then I'm going to do minus one time row one, add to row three. So I take F3 again. Minus 1 for K, talk to multiply to row 1, add to row 3, execute again. Right, so I finished the second operation. And now I move on to the third operation, 1 fifth times row 2. So I can take multiply with F2 now, so multiply F2. So 1 over 5, okay, multiply to row 2, execute again, and that will give me. 0, 1, 1, the second row. And now I move on to the next page and do some row operation. So I want to modify, multiply by minus 5 to row 2 and add to row 3. Alright, so multiply by minus 5 to row 2, add to row 3, execute. So I create a last row of 0. And now I want to make the one up, uh, on above the leading one to be zero, so I'm gonna take F3 array, let's say minus one times row two, then add to row one. Execute. And so it will give me the metric one zero nine zero one one and zero zero zero. So we tell me that A equal to nine, B equal to one. That's the end of the recording.